What is going on FG3000 back in the place to be and welcome to Kimono friends So for today's video, I want to jump directly into gameplay because you ain't never seen a gacha game play quite like this before Like this is literally a one-of-a-kind hero collector There is no other game on the Play Store that plays quite like Kimono friends So we'll leave that loading screen in but as you guys saw very very brisk loading times and here we are in combat So I'm about to do battle with this cacti over there as you can see he has 24 life bars and he is red elemental type Unfortunately, I don't have any water attacker. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna go ahead and lower his attack value by using my beaver over here. Now this is all gonna make sense in a second. Don't look at me crazy. Now in this game, all of your characters start with their ultimate at the ready, but in this game, they're called miracles, right? So this is me activating my miracle, AKA my ultimate. And like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and lower his attack value by slingshotting into his face. So that slingshot mechanism is gonna give you some Angry Bird vibes, but it's way more than that, right? Um, so the next thing that I want to do, I'm gonna go ahead once again, activate my miracle. I'm gonna go way up here to the top of the screen, grab some of those coins and slingshot that guy in the face as well. So as you may have noticed by now, you do damage in multiple ways, right? The initial hit when you slingshot in your enemy's face, and you also do basic attack damage, ultimates, etc., etc. But that's not all. Do keep in mind, this is also an RPG. So you can see my wolf over here is getting a little bit low on HP. So what I wanna go ahead and do, smack him in the head once again with my little slingshot and provide some heals to my friends. <laughs> Literally my friends. So it looks like my wolf over there is just taking way too much damage and I don't wanna sacrifice my three star. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna activate my Salamander's ultimate, AKA her miracle. That's gonna give me a big heal. And then I also wanna go ahead and bring out my tank and I'm gonna smack this guy in the back of his head to turn him around and focus on my hippopotamus <laughs> and we'll go ahead and let her ultimate kind of play out there. So not only is this gonna get the attention of the boss, oh, come on, Silver Wolf, you turned him back around. Hold on, we good. <laughs> so not only is it gonna get the attention of the boss, I'm also gonna increase my defense as well. So we got to heal, we increased our defense, and even though they're still hitting Silver Wolf, Hippopotamus's defensive buff is just like so good, we're good to go. So now, you know what? I think I want to get you out of the air there. So we're gonna go ahead and use Weasel, and kind of arc my my little catapult there, hit you in the head, still not strong enough to kill him just yet. <laughs> I like Weasel's little ultimate there. The attack of the snowman. How, how that works, I have no idea. And you can see after every single one of our turns here, all of our friends do some attacking. I'm calling them friends for a reason. We'll talk about that a little bit later. And for the sake of the YouTube, I should be able to finish this guy off with one more hit. Down he goes. And then all of my friends will just jump this cacti right here. So that last stage was rather simple, right? Let's go ahead and up the ante, shall we? So on this stage, you got multiple different portals and you have a boss that is basically doing a shared damage with all the enemies on the stage. So let's get this one started. We do have it on times two speed now. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with my weasel and we'll go ahead and activate her miracle attack. And I'm gonna teleport um, in this blue portal over here and then hit this guy over in the upper left-hand corner, right? So check this out. You go through the portal, smack this guy in the face, throw some random snowmen at him. That might be enough damage to kill him in one shot. Very, very nice. And then we're gonna come down here to the bottom and throw another random snowman. <laughs> Everybody getting these snowman hands, you know what I'm saying? And this guy, the boss is summoning some spikes on the ground. So melee, if they're standing right there, they're gonna take damage over time. So we gotta be careful of that. So what I wanna do, I wanna make sure the boss is like the last thing I fight because I don't want my friends just standing on these spikes here, just taking damage the entire time. So the next thing I wanna do, once again, I'm gonna activate my miracle and we're gonna teleport through the red portal this time, hitting the enemies to the right side. 
Very, very nice. Good damage there. We have type advantage. This is one of those games that does have an elemental advantage and disadvantage system. Very basic, right? Red beats green, green beats blue, blue beats, blue beats red, right? Very straightforward. All right, so we're doing pretty well so far and our HP is pretty topped off. Now there's another aspect to the stage, right? So we talked about the portals. We talked about the shared damage. We talked about the spikes. There's also these withered tree branches as well. So check out what I'm going to do on this one. So I'm going to go ahead... We're gonna use our beaver, <laughs> I'm sorry. We're not gonna activate her miracle though. And I'm gonna go ahead and go through this. I gotta do it in a nice, I gotta do it in the right angle. So let's do this, stretch it backwards a little bit. We're gonna go through the portal, hit the guy on the upper left-hand corner. And we're gonna break this tree branch. The tree branch falls on this guy at the very, very bottom. We're gonna do some damage. Oh, I think I'm gonna lose my weasel. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna lose my weasel. No, her HP is just a little too low, unfortunately. Now this is. Oh no, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, I, th I thought I was. I thought I was screwed. All right, so let's go ahead and bring our healer here. We're gonna activate her miracle to top her off. I'm gonna do the same exact thing to the right side of the screen. Teleport through the right portal. Hit that guy. Drop that tree branch on the enemy down below. We're gonna do a heal across everybody. And we should be good to go. The only person left is going to be the boss. So now we are ready. We're all going to be standing in the spikes, which is kind of annoying. Um, but if we finish him off quickly, we shouldn't have too much of a problem here. Okay, so what I'm going to do, we're going to go ahead and do Hippopotamus um, to up our D. Because if we have higher D, we're going to take lower damage from those spikes as well. And let's see how we can angle... I wanna, I wanna catapult this guy in the face as well, but I'm not sure, hold on, we can do this. I think, I think this might work, it might not. Yes it did, okay. <laughs> so catapulted to the face, there goes Hippopotamus. Defense up across everyone, not to mention every single turn, all of our homies are just gonna jump the boss here. Very, very nice. No matter where they are in the stage, they're all going to go against the enemy that's in question, right? So the, since the boss is the last one, they all attacked him. We got everybody up there. Everyone's kind of topped off, healed, defense upped. Um, so now it's time for a little bit of combo action. So certain characters have synergy together. So when they're deployed on the same exact encounter, they're going to activate buffs for your entire party. I'm also going to go ahead and activate my beavers attack down as well. Remember, we didn't activate it earlier because I didn't want to waste that attack down on a random enemy. Enemy. Now we're fighting the boss. Now I want that attack down. So now we're gonna go ahead and use our girl Sorval over here. See if we can't replicate exactly what we just did. Is that it? So you can look at the last trail that you did. That doesn't look right, dude. There we go. We got it set. We got it set. Boom. Here is the combo. Everyone dances. And here is Sorval's ultimate. Dude, she is an absolute killer. Good damage, that is GG. And that's gameplay here in the world. Oh yeah, well, let's go ahead and replace that. <laughs> that is gameplay here in the world of Kimono Friends, right? So quite unique, quite different. And I, I gotta tell you, dude, it's a lot of fun. So just like in most gacha games, you're gonna go from stage to stage to stage, three starring each one. All you gotta do is just basically beat the stage and not die. And as far as quality of life, the game does have skip functionality without the requirement of skip tickets. The only requirement is three star in each stage. Look at me, I'm farming for some eggplant. Now, as far as auxiliary gameplay modes, you have quite a few, starting off with supplies. Now, this is everything you need to power up your character, right? From improving the power of your ultimate, awaken, EXP, everything here is your daily resource grind. Beyond that, you have your challenge modes, which are gonna challenge you. The Sandstone Dunes is all about challenging boss encounters, and dude, there is quite the variety of bosses in this game with all types of real fun animations. I'm gonna show you a few more of them before the video is over. The other challenge mode is called Investigation, and this is gonna be the type of gameplay mode where the game gives you preset characters at preset levels and it's up to you to kind of solve the puzzle and beat the boss or beat the encounter in a specific amount of rounds in this case it's only two so with this one we have to beat this guy within two rounds pretty straightforward we're going to use our support unit over here catapult you in the face this support unit over here is gonna boost the attack of my next friend. You can easily see exactly what's coming up as far as your buffs. So you can see right over here, miracle attack up for my next friend. In this game, everyone's called friends, by the way. <laughs> I forgot to mention that earlier. And then over here, we'll use our girl over here who has the highest attack damage. And that should be GG.
The next two gameplay mode is all about pushing you to have a more diverse character roster. You can see here you got your tried and true endless tower mode, and then you have elemental specific towers as well. And then over here in the subway gameplay mode, pretty much the same exact idea. You're gonna fight these bosses, and these bosses are gonna be very specifically weak to certain element types. So next, let's fight a stage boss, then we're gonna fight a raid boss. Now, earlier in the video, we did talk about the elemental advantage and disadvantage system, right? Very straightforward. Um, these friends also have multiple different classes as well. So um, kind of going from left to right, we have our support unit right over here. They tend to be all about buffs. Um, next, we have assault, that's damage. Control is usually all about debuffs. You have tanks, that's very straightforward, and you also have heals. Okay, so let's do this. Let's fight a boss. We're gonna start this bad boy off hot, smack him in the face with a miracle shot. I wanna test him, I wanna see how strong he is. But let's see, we should be okay maybe. Okay, that's a lot of damage, way more than I wanted to take. <laughs> okay, so now this boss basically has a target on him. So if I hit that target, I'm gonna do more damage. Unfortunately at the moment, I really can't capitalize on that because I desperately need heals. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm still gonna hit the core, but I'm gonna use my healer to do it. Core hit, more damage, there's a heal there. Is that gonna be enough to keep you alive? Okay, we're good, we're good. The boss hit someone else, very, very nice. Um, but we're still very, very low in HP. So what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna go to Hippopotamus. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do defense up. And I wanna, I wanna get behind the boss. So I gotta angle this just right, uh-oh. <laughs> I gotta angle this just right, dude. But I also wanna hit him at the same time. So I wanna hit him and I wanna be behind him. Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> Skill issue. <laughs> Should I edit that out? I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, doing some damage there. There's the heal. We're also defensed up. Look at how little damage I take after Hippopotamus. Hippopotamus is the truth when it comes to that. Okay, another target on your head. We're gonna go ahead and use Serval a little early here. Serval actually does more damage to core hits. So let's make sure. Let's make sure. There's the core hit. Serval's gonna do a ton of damage. There's a combo as well. That should be quite a bit of damage there. Down to 13 life bars, make it 11, make it 10, make it nine. There's a heal, everyone's topped off. And yeah, we're still very, very healthy here. No big deal. Oh, okay, chill, 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 relax. Relax, relax, relax. This guy's going absolutely crazy. I'm gonna heal just to make sure everyone's topped off. What if I purposely overshoot him? Oh wait, <laughs> I wasn't sure that was gonna happen. Only one person came across. I was seeing, uh, we kind of spread it out though. So let's see which side he's gonna attack. There's the heal. Oh, he's gonna AOE everyone anyway. Oh no, there goes the three star. Come on, dude. <laughs> I thought I was gonna three star that one. I was feeling really good about myself. Bruh. All right, there's the last bit of damage. So I'm gonna have to come back and do this because that's a two star, unfortunately. This game also has a raid boss. And as you guys can see, as you defeat him, you unlock higher and higher difficulty. So we should be fine. We'll go ahead and beat this guy on easy. Oh, dude, this is my old team. All right, so let's just, uh, I'm gonna just start off just going at him here. If he's gonna have that core target, I'm just gonna go ahead and smack that core target right in the face. Not even gonna set Serval up for more damage. Like I could have, you know, boosted her attack power and like waited for another core later on. But you know what, we're fine. We are a fine. Doing pretty well there as far as our HP is concerned, but I am gonna go ahead and bring a healer out. And we're gonna go ahead and smack this little target right there in his head. Top us off, do some more Dumage. And uh, we're still pretty decent. Now we have some spikes over here in front of him, but we can always go behind. Well, we're definitely gonna have to go behind him. So let's do this, shall we? We'll use a weasel who does more damage based on if the enemy has 50% or more health, which the boss definitely does. And what we're gonna do here, we're gonna use the fans over there. Look at this, look at that, that is perfect. Use the fans, hit them in the back, hit the core target. Here come the snowmen. It's just a very rewarding game, right? There is no autoplay whatsoever. Everything you do here is going to be manual. But the great thing is once you're done, once you solve like the puzzle, you defeated the encounter, you're done. You never have to do it again. You unlock blitz and you keep it moving. So this is quite the fun game. I really think this is, this is the type of game that you want to play on your cell phone. Yeah, you can play it on emulator, but it feels so right on cell phone, right? Yeah. 
And since the game is active, no autoplay, this is the type of game that you actually want to play, right? Um, so this guy is warning me that he's about to do a big attack. So what we're going to do, smack him in the face with Hippopotamus, increase our defense. Your big attack has no power here. We're going to be pretty topped off with our heal here in a second. Should be. There's the heal, mostly topped off. Wow, that was some pretty good damage, but I think we're in good shape. Come on, give me another target, no? All right, actually, we're going to be pretty good. I'm pretty sure a target's coming next, so let's use Wolf here. We're going to do... I love her ultimate, by the way. <laughs> the howl is so good. That means the next friend that attacks is going to do more damage. Give me, a, give me a target, give me a target. Not this time, unfortunately. And, dude, I actually forgot that I already used Serval in the very beginning. <laughs> Doesn't matter. A, core, a target didn't pop up anyway. One more smack in the face. That Oh, yeah, that's good damage. Thanks to that buff from Wolf. We are good to go. Down goes the boss. Just when you had no faith in FG. I always believed in myself. So that's going to unlock the next difficulty for this boss. So now I'm on normal. As you might expect, you're going to get point rewards as well. So we'll take all those goodies. And then what I'll do next time is I'll make sure that I actually have a team that is strong against this boss. Um, so this boss is red type. So I definitely want to bring a bunch of like water units with me next time. Or I can go for these recommended friends here that are going to give me a boost to my point totals as well. Well, very nice. Dude, Penguin Gang. I love it. All right, so now it's time for a good old-fashioned summon session. We'll go ahead and do a 10 pool. And I'm going to burn out all of my currency. Not because I'm going to be quitting the game. Um, just because I, I really want some new characters. All right, dude. I saw my orange pool there. So thank you. I, I really wanted some red units here. Because I had, like, none. Oh, I like her. Saltwater Crocodile. <laughs> Dude, hello, new fetish unlocked. I don't know about that tail though. <laughs> there goes American Beaver. Next up, we got Arctic Wolf. That's going to be a dupe, and I'll show you what this is all used for a little bit later. More Arctic Wolf. There is my girl, American Beaver, one more time. And I do like the fact that they give you like a real life picture of an American Beaver. <laughs> so I am an American Beaver. I build stuff. Got any renovation inquiries? Fire away. <laughs> you love to see. Um, African Elephant over here. My dream is to become king. Yeah, you got to be a lion for that. Very nice. There goes an oh penguin gang in the place to be. I'll take more penguins. Uh, more Arctic Wolf. And then here is our legendary, another copy of Weasel. Little dis you sound a little disappointed there, FG. No, it's, it's all right. It's going to be all right. <laughs> all right, let's do some more pulls here. Once again, I want to burn out all of my currency here. Everything you see here is free to play, by the way. Oh, we got another orange. We got another orange. Very, very nice. Oh, I didn't mean to skip everything. Dude, hold on. Oh, wait a minute. Is that who I think it is? Bruh, I messed it up. I think that was uh, I think that was one of the better healers there. We'll see in a second. No more orange. Oh, another orange. All right, this time I won't mess it up. Um, <laughs> there goes Oryx. I think that's how you say that. Another gray wolf. There goes Gorilla. Look at that. <laughs> that's crazy. A uh, common dolphin. A uh, red jungle fowl. More beavers. Blue whale, dude, I, the blue whale for some reason just, I, I can't. I can't with that tail, dude, it looks too creepy. Another copy of Weasel, dude, come on. There goes Camel, Stoat, how do you say that? All I'm getting is Weasel dupes, dude. Oh, we got two legendaries in this pool, very, very nice. Starting off with another penguin gang. I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show you why I care about this so much. Oh, Jaguar, one hit knockout, I'm not that naive. Hello, Jaguar, blue type, okay. Might be able to use her for the current raid boss. More blue whale, more saltwater crocodile, gorilla, more camel. Here is our, oh, look at what we have here, my dudes. That is not a five star, my friends. That is a six star. <laughs> oh, and fire type or red type. Very nice. I am super happy about that. Dude, she's casting a jutsu. All right, let's keep digging. Let's keep digging. I got some pretty good luck here so far. Another orange here. You're probably wondering, what are the rates? I'll show you what the rates are here in a second. We got Black Rhinoceros. She has a partner called White Rhinoceros, who is a, <laughs> is a topic of a many a debate right now. Many a debate. 
about how good or bad white rhinoceros is. <laughs> I'm gonna stay out of it though. All right, so that's all the currency that I have now. As far as the drop rates, um, four star drop rate is 50%, five star drop rate is 6%, and then six star drop rate is 2.5%, not too shab. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the upgrade process here in the game. Now, as far as leveling up your character, very straightforward. This game basically has an EXP currency that you can farm. So we'll go ahead and level you all the way up to whatever I can do. That is level 32, very, very nice. Next up, let's increase the power of our ultimate. Very straightforward. The game will let you know exactly which materials are required. And then all you have to do from this screen, check out the streamlining, dude. So this is the stage where that material drops. I can hit blitz. I can do it nine times, but it'll stop as soon as I get the amount required. I can press back and go right back to the screen, dude. A true back button you love to see. I'll show you one more time. I'll go ahead and blitz this. It'll stop exactly when I have the amount of materials that I need. Hit level up, keep it moving, dude. You love that. Also, as you power up and awaken these characters, you will unlock additional passives and actives. As far as duplicates, you feed those into the breakthrough system. Very straightforward. So since I got two duplicates of Weasel over here, we'll go ahead and break her through, giving her even more abilities, as well as the ability to upgrade her ultimate even further. And then last but not least, you have a system called Albums, which is basically this game's version of its rune system. I don't have it unlocked at the moment, but you can see here, here's an example of one of the album photos here that you can equip to your characters and there are going to be different types of set bonuses and effects so that's going to do it my friends a nice little look at kimono friends but i did want to test out my brand new chameleon here let's see what she does we'll hit that little core oh nice oh dude wow okay dude we got a little bit of shadow clone jutsu and now my weasel has like a really strong ultimate now so that's probably just going to one shot this guy that's going to be an easy clap very nice. So that is Kimono, friends. My name is FG, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out.